Hello friends, welcome to AI Flux. So it's been less than 24 hours since Mistral released their insane Mistral 8x7b mixture of experts model, which may actually compete architecturally with GPT-4 and big, big models from Google. So why is this so cool? So the thing is, we already have the weights. That's what they released with that 96 gig torrent and everyone has the weights now. And the only thing we've been able to extrapolate about this model is information they've released and then some hints they've left within those files themselves. We had some idea of how the model might operate, but we had no idea what its capabilities actually were compared to GPT-4, um, some other local uh, coding models or Gemini. So we have good ways of benchmarking it. We just seemingly couldn't benchmark it yet. However, there've already been a small group of people who have managed to hack together existing tooling meant for Llama to actually make it possible to run Mistral 8x7b. And this is just incredibly cool because we thought we were actually going to have to wait for Mistral AI to release their inference code to actually run it. But people have actually figured this out. Now, we initially thought, you know, sure, oh, it's going to take crazy GPUs to do this. Um, however, if you keep watching, I'm going to get into how if you just have more than one to two 4090s, you could probably run this locally or in a pretty reasonably sized AWS setup. And actually, you can run it right now, but in a little bit different way. So let's get into it. So the first person who actually managed to get this running happened last night. If you don't follow Vic on Twitter, if you're really into AI stuff, you definitely should. I'll link him below. So he was the first to kind of figure out with his code here, which he's calling mixed troll inference, how to actually run this. And initially the question was based on the quantization it was provided in, how much RAM would you actually need? And what's interesting is the guess that uh, the size of the model is roughly equivalent to how much memory you need was actually right. So he managed to get it running with 100 gigabytes of VRAM. So basically what this means is if you have eight NVIDIA RTX 3090s or eight NVIDIA RTX 4090s, you can actually run this. And the only reason you need eight is uh, eight times 24 is a little over 100. And the entire point there is, yeah, that's enough RAM to actually run this. And what's cool is you can run Inference without NVLink, which is kind of important. It used to be with older models, you actually had to have NVLink or use Quadro GPUs because you can unify the memory. But um, yeah, there've also been some other instances of this being run with uh, higher end kind of AI GPUs. He has this output here, it's kind of cool. So it, the prompt was, one must imagine a Sisyphus, one must imagine Sisyphus happy. Uh, and then it looks like it uh, roughly recanted some uh, Albert Camus, which is kind of interesting. But the other funny thing here is he mentioned man I trust lead vocalist is. And what's cool is this model is clearly able to actually um, query things that are real information. And what's also cool is this model is less censored. So it's gonna give you back things that uh, GPT-4 probably wouldn't. And the repo is right here. You should definitely check it out. We're also going to be doing kind of a, a larger um, in-depth video on like how this model works and why these hacks actually work. And another instance of someone um, very early on managing to run this was Anton, he's someone I followed for quite some time. And again, if you really wanna follow the leading edge AI stuff going on on Twitter, definitely follow him, he's linked below. He actually managed to get this running in a slightly different way using the Llama Mistral code. So again, there are different approaches, not only one person actually figured this out. And what's cool here is he was actually running this against human eval, which is one of the more common uh, or more popular benchmarks that people use on the Hugging Face leaderboards to actually compare these different models and understand in pretty good detail why one model might be better or worse than another. His thread here is pretty interesting and it gets into why, you know, this is a better or approaching kind of GPT 3.5, 3.5 turbo in certain areas, but it's not quite distinct. And granted, this is all happening last night. So this is mere hours after it was actually released. And the scores he was getting then were right between 33.5% uh, uh, and 30.5%. And the important thing here is that this is actually the model performing without its official inference code. So these numbers are not necessarily perfectly indicative of the capabilities of this model. But this was again, pretty cool to see. And what's also interesting is there was another update just a few minutes ago, where again, the inference code was improved and with a slightly different way of running it, we actually hit 50% on uh, with Mistral 8X7B. And what's cool is right now, this means that this latest mixture of experts model from Mistral, at least the coding component of it, is actually running faster and performing better than Code Llama 34B, which actually was much harder to run um, with this amount of hardware for the inference. And the other really cool thing that I think is incredibly understated, way more people should like this tweet, 
is that um, it's more impressive that this model actually can follow instructions even though it's just a base model. Normally to do that, you need uh, a fine tune or some specific context given to the model for it to do that. And right now with unofficial inference code, uh, this latest model from Mistral can do that, which is incredibly cool. Now, what I would say is one of the most formal implementations showing this run. Um, this was reposted by Technium. Again, another incredible account you should follow on Twitter if you like AI stuff. And this implementation comes from uh, Jean P. Harris. And what I think is cool here is, again, we're making a direct comparison to Yi and basically the VRAM that it uses. So uh, I think it's first interesting to mention that the, one of the big takeaways here is that the big trade-off with this model is that um, it does use more VRAM, but it's about twice as fast as Yi, which is a roughly comparable model um, to a lot of the stuff coming out of Mistral. And the other curious thing here with this work coming from John is that he's using MMLU, which is the benchmark that was used um, by Gemini at Google to in theory show that it was better than GPT-4 in a lot of different ways, specifically in coding. Uh, MMLU uh, does benchmarking across a lot of different factors, but coding is a big one. The other really cool thing to mention here is that in theory, with a different quantization, we could probably uh, narrow down most of this model, so Mistral uh, 8x7b, to um, four gigs, which means you could run it on, that's capable for like an M1 Mac to do, which is insane. That said, here are the actual benchmarks. So this is Hella Swag, Wino Grand, uh, Truthful, Arc Challenge, uh, GSM 8K, and MMLU. So the uh, the rough performance here is looking quite good. Again, it's uh, within shooting distance of uh, a lot of the more capable Llama models. And again, it's vastly outperforming uh, Llama 34B in most cases. And again, the biggest takeaway from this, uh, from Tim, another fantastic researcher you should follow, is that we can probably compress this model. And you know it's gonna really come into question quickly why we can't run certain uh, OpenAI models locally, uh, whether or not that's just because they don't want to, not necessarily because it's not possible. This video would not be complete without mentioning that, yes, you can actually run this with two 80 gig GPUs that uh, are wonderfully made available by um, Versal. So let me try running this with Mistral 7B and Mistral 8 by 7 b so let me see. Tell me about the expedition made by Lewis and Clark. Oh, this works, wow, okay. So there we go. So this is kind of a, a quick test here just of querying some information. So one thing that I do like about uh, Mistral uh, 8 by 7b is that it's much better at creating concise answers, not necessarily long answers and giving you a lot of information that's kind of high level. It's much better at focusing. Now let's try, again, this is, this is my uh, very hacky version of a benchmark. Let, let me say here, um, write a basic Python function that can generate the Fibonacci sequence. It's kind of an easier coding challenge here. Okay, so it looks like we missed this a little bit. Let me refresh so we don't actually have the context here. So this is one where Mistral actually was closer. It looks like it thought we were contextually bound to this. So let me reload this. Okay, write a Python function that can generate the Fibonacci sequence. Let's try it one more time. And here we go. Now, one thing I will say is that the real value of a lot of these coding models that's really un not talked about enough is whether or not uh, the documentation is good and whether or not the documentation is concise. And I can say here, we just get one line over here in 7b, and we get multiple lines here um, with very, almost too much information coming from uh, 8 by 7b. So I'm not surprised, I, mean, I have to do more work with this, but I would not be surprised if the coding ability was actually much stronger with Mistral 8 by 7b. So this is linked below. If you're using Mistral, you actually get some free credits with Versal to run this stuff. These is supposedly running with uh, two 80 gig NVIDIA um, AI GPUs, and it's pretty quick. I've messed around with this a bit. I want to mess around with it more 
but I wanted to get this video out to you guys to show you that, yes, uh, even if you don't have 83090s or 84090s, which are required for this kind of hack together code, yes, you can run it right now. And hopefully within the next few days, assuming we get the official inference code out, we'll see a version of this that can run on um, M2, M1, and M3 MacBooks. That would be awesome. So this is linked below. Definitely try it out. It's free for now, just for a certain number of credits. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.